Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the chute rotation gearbox on your snowblower, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Now position the chute so it's facing forward. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws, securing the handle to the control lever. Slide off the handle and remove the remaining screw to separate the two halves of the handle and release the control cable. Next, remove the retaining clip securing the chute control rod and pull the rod free. Use a half-inch socket to help remove the bolts securing the gearbox to the chute. Remove the retaining clip to release the support bracket pin. Unthread the wing nut from the center mounting bolt and you can remove the old gearbox. You're now ready to install the new chute rotation gearbox. Position the new gearbox on the chute and support bracket. Insert the center mounting bolt into the new gearbox housing, then thread the wing nut on and tighten. Reinsert the support bracket pin and secure it with the retaining clip. Now replace the bolt to secure the new gearbox to the chute. Route the new control cable through the cable retainer. Now feed the cable through the hole in the console housing and through the chute control lever slot. Align the cable in the right side of the handle. Insert the rounded end in the actuator. Realign the actuator in the handle and reposition the trigger. Join the two halves of the handle together and replace the screw above the trigger to secure. Now slide the handle onto the chute control lever and replace the remaining screws. Confirm that the holes in the gearbox coupler are facing straight up with the chute facing forward and that the chute control lever is at the 1 o'clock position. Now insert the rounded end of the chute control rod into the gearbox coupler and the hex end into the control coupler. Secure the rod with the retaining clip. Confirm that the chute has a full range of movement. Then reattach the spark plug wire and boot, and your snowblower should be ready for use.